Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin' I'm John, this is Media True Dirt, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Where last time, we made our way here, to the Kingsport Lighthouse, adding a new town to my growing empire. And seriously, this one could be something special, like, you know, we've got the waterfront, I do love a waterfront, and we've got a giant lighthouse, meaning we can build up. Maybe turning this thing into a gigantic glowing skyscraper. It's going to be brilliant when it gets done. Still, for the time being today, yes, we've got business back in the core of the Empire over in the West. In particular, I can't help but notice that yes, with the name Memory Lane, Jake might finally be willing to open up about his tragic backstory. So yes indeed, I'm going to kick off today by travelling back to the Starlight Drive-In. That's a good starting off point for the various bits and pieces I need to take care of. So, right, off we go, hopefully a nice quiet journey on route. Especially as I can't help but notice that, um, my minigun seems to have uh, broken. Okay, the situation's getting weirder, which is I now seem to be inside my own body, but like not in a good way, and also... I'm now punching and blocking. There is a gun here, but it doesn't... Well, this has just been a really cocking weird adventure so far. What the cock is going on? Okay, here we go. Starlight drive-in. I still don't have a gun. Right, please get a gun out. Guys, kind of been noticed that, like, you know, uh, the angry music is playing right now. So, uh... okay, I'm actually... I'm in caution. It's a very loose caution. It's probably fine. Right, Starlight Drive-In. How are you guys getting on, by the way? Terrible, as it turns out. You never bothered finishing anything because you ran out of supplies before you had the ability to uh, harvest more. Okay, don't worry, because yes, while I'm inside the settlement, anything I harvest, like, you know, from cars or whatever, you guys can use as a building supply. So if I'm, like, you know, standing here while harvesting all of this, you guys can use it to get your settlement started. Lovely. Hang about, you've not built this municipal plot yet, and that's really cocking good news because I want this to be, you know, a very specific thing. Here we go, caravan services, because someone told me down in the comments, yes, just having caravan services and like, you know, Sanctuary Hills and down in the marina, that's not going to be good enough. They've got like a radius, so I need to daisy chain caravan services down to the marina if I want my main settlements to be able to communicate. Okay, following morning, I've made some quick changes and yes, everything here is suddenly looking a lot better in particular. Because we've now got the caravan up in the top right, this area is now, yes, connected to uh, the caravan network, meaning they can draw from, uh, yes, the building material pool of Sanctuary Hills. And that means, uh, all of a sudden, stuff is being built in a hurry. They've got farms, they've got defense set up, basically, okay, they are suddenly happy chappies, I love it. Okay, next up, while I'm, yeah, very nearby to Lexington and whatnot, I was supposed to be going to talk down some Children of Atom, though... Okay, thinking about it. I probably should have done that, like, before I started massacring the Children of Atom. Like, I've probably still got their blood on me. Here we go, just off the road that goes by, yeah, Lexington, Corvega, etc. Apparently... They're in here. Now, if you'd asked me, I would have said, yes, this was like, you know, uh, just a dumping ground filled with uh, mole rats or something. But, well, there's literally a mole rat right there. So, how about we just, you know, uh, pop up top if we can uh, and deal with those bastards first? Because I feel like otherwise it's going to be a problem. There we go. I think they've realised they're living inside, you know, a mole rat infested environment, etc, etc. So, uh, Okay, no need to get involved, just, you know, I'll let them deal with their own pest problem. Okay, folks, let's have a lovely chat about Archon and how you're about to leave him alone. Adam's blessings upon you, Wanderer. We have seen you speak with the great Archon. Has he seen fit to return and shepherd his children? Funny old thing, no, but, ooh, red speech check. That would be tricky even with this gear on, so... Let's see if we can argue them down to yellow or orange. I just want to talk, buddy. I just wanted to talk to you. So, 
You are here to drive us off, then. Please understand. The Arkan is more than a mere ghoul. He was sent to us by Adam. We need him. How can we serve Adam without his guidance? Okay, decide for yourselves. I thought you were reasonable. Yes, you don't need him. There are like so many glowing ones. Everywhere. In the wasteland. Go find another one that does want to be your friends. You don't need him. You could leave right now if you wanted. Try to understand. We were lost before the Arkan came. When we found the new fuel building and discovered him in the ruins, it was a blessing from Adam itself. To be asked to go back to those days? To before Adam shared with us his life and his herald? How could you ask that of us? Okay, so uh, right. Still red. He's not going to be uh, argued down to an easier check. So uh, let's try it this way. As you can see, buddy, I too am a herald of Atom. And I command thee, let thy Archon go. Atom commands you. <laughs> From the mouths of babes, we find wisdom. Adam bless you. Okay, job cocking done. Archon will now join my society. Brilliant. And you know what? While I'm in this bit of the world, actually, as you may have noticed, my, um, yes, rads are getting a bit out of control. So... Yeah, if I just mosey in this direction to the west... Here we go, straight past that location where we found the dead super mutant as part of the West Everett Estate mission. That brings me round the back of Arcjet, meaning if I've got this right then, this shack over here should be... The Ghoul Doctor, so... Bloody hell. Okay, the Ghoul Doctor is my best bet for reducing my rads, but the Ghoul Doctor lives on top of a giant pile of rad, so uh, it's all fine. We just need to, uh, you know, uh, do some rad X and then get in and out as fast as possible. Like, overall, uh, we will lose rads, probably. Here we go, guns away. I've literally just got ill from fatigue. Right, stay away from that. Hello there. I'd like to, like, you know, uh, chat about doctoring, but I really would like to do it, like, fast, please, actually. So, step one, get rid of my addiction. I'm definitely addicted uh, right now to, like, you know, uh, drugs and whatnot. Please do this faster. I'm pretty sure I'm taking rads at the moment. Next up, deal with the rads to clear out my health meter. Lovely. Sort that out, too. Skip your dialogue, please. I can literally hear the Geiger counter ticking away in the background. This is ridiculous. This is very bad doctoring. And finally, yes, now fill up my health meter and also get rid of... I think I just picked up fatigue just by virtue of standing in radiation, which is marvellous. So, okay, just... Get this done too, and then start cooking running away from the worst doctor in the Commonwealth. Okay? You know what? It's better than going all the way down to Diamond City. Let's just cocky go. Beautiful. Okay, from here, we can then mosey straight on up to a Sunshine Tidings. And I was about to say, after doing some cooking, I can just mosey straight on back to Abernathy. But, um, I'm pretty sure I just saw hang about. We're looking at mutants taking on, yeah, various raiders right now. I know. I saw a legendary. Where was the legendary? There he is. Okay, right. He's way back over there. And he's dead. Good. Free legendary on the bridge. Magnificent. And on top of that, you guys uh, have just about finished off. Are you a raider? Or are you a nice person? No, that's the Brotherhood. Good, 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 good. I'm glad I helped out. Okay, now this here, this was a good deed for the day. That means I deserve a good legendary game. And it turns out it's going to be... Assassins is good. Uh, boxing gloves, uh, not so much. Still, with the path over the dam nice and clear, that takes me pretty much straight to Abernathy, which is... Hang on, if that's the water tower, that's probably Abernathy there. I always forget precisely which pylon it is. Nope, completely wrong. One too far over, but bare minimum. That is some nice, easy deer meat, and deer meat is a delicious. A venison is the food of kings in survival mode. Right, good news, guys. Taffington Boathouse has been cleared out, which you wanted me to do for some reason. I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Nice to have some good news around here for a change. 
Okay, that gets me the money, but not the XP. Need to speak to Preston Garvey for that. So, okay, good we've decided to do things in this order, because I've not been back to Sanctuary yet today. John, Preston Garvey's not at Sanctuary, is he? Because you sent him to the castle, so... Okay, we'll turn that in later, it's fine. Bare minimum, Archon should be delighted to hear the news. They won't be bothering you again. Oh, thank goodness. As grateful as I am to them for saving me, I'd be quite happy to never see a child of Adam again. I'd offer you a reward, but I'm afraid that I don't really have much in the way of possessions at the moment. If, by some strange coincidence, you happen to know of a settlement that doesn't mind ghouls with the ability to emit bursts of gamma radiation, and if they further have need of a theoretical physicist with a background in engineering, however, then I am at your service. Honestly, I'd happily settle for just the former. Okay, so here we flip it. Go, we've got ourselves a brand new person. And uh, you, sir, report straight to the marina, please. We'll be checking in with you later. Right, and one more thing. Everybody gather round, because at least one of you has got to be completely cocking useless. We've got 20 people here. Not all of you are doing something useful. Here we go, you, sir. You're doing literally nothing right now. So in which case, I need you to be part of my new caravan chain. Off you go to Opaland, I'll catch up with you later. I'm running low on food for little cola. Could really use anything you have to spare. Oh, I'm so glad you mentioned that old Paul, because uh, I'm pretty sure I actually found out in the wasteland uh, a can of dog foods. Sure, here you go. Oh, much obliged, much obliged. This'll do nicely. Say thank you, little cola. I'm guessing Cola's supposed to be standing next to him, but because I summoned him over with the bell, she's not. It's fine. Pretend Cola's there. Good invisible dog. Okay, it's starting to get dark for the day, so let's just eat, drink, and then drop a nice restful save, given I'm getting tired anyway. Oh, now that's cocking better. Lovely. Right, let's go catch up with Jake. And while I think about it, actually, Brannigan did say to check in with him after a day or two. Well... It's definitely been more than a couple of days so far, so... Uh, Brannigan, old buddy, have you got something for me? Hey there. Well, hey there again, stranger. Good to see you stopping by to see little old me. As you can see, I've managed to clean the place up a bit. Now that you're here, I'd like to put forth a genuine once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be an official associate of the up-and-coming Concord Brahmin Caravan. Okay, well, this is just cocking meant to be because uh, I'm literally currently setting up a chain of caravans uh, to link my towns together. So, uh, okay, now this here is meant to be, Brannigan. Me and you, let's go into business together. A caravan? What are you talking about? I'm talking about expansion, friend. Picture this. A never-ending roadway stretching across this late, great America. A mercantile trail of business bringing in caps by the hundreds. No, thousands. And right at the forefront of this will be my Brahmin. And you, my capable friend, will get to become a shining part of this bovine-based empire. Assuming, that is, that you're up to the task. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I was planning to just, you know, link my towns together. I wasn't even thinking about the money, but I'll take giant piles of caps too. What are we talking about here? What kind of work will we be doing? In order to secure my spot as this area's best Brahmin dealer, we'll need to create the perfect Brahmin. Brahmin tougher, smarter, faster than any before and any that will ever be. The first thing we'll need for this is a feeding trough for the Brahmin, and a big one too. Saw one a little ways out while we were heading into the Commonwealth. I'll give you the location. The second thing is food itself. I got word of a few different spots that may have some lying around, but we'll have to get to that later. And after we get some food, we'll want a, we'll want a little something extra to mix in. Corn, razor grain, <clears throat> sugar bombs, uh, you know, healthy stuff. But like the cheap kind. Oh my goodness. He genuinely wants to, like, breed Super Brahmin in order to create superior caravans. Okay, this sounds hilarious. We are doing this. Brilliant. Okay, I'd just like to apologize before we begin to the Brahmin that's in the pen back here. 
Because I feel like, yes, you buddy are not going to be fed, uh, like, you know, good healthy stuff. I think by the end of it, possibly, we'll be mixing, like, you know, Psycho Jet into your food or something. Okay, I will get to that in a second, because that sounds cooking hilarious or so. Hang on. We've got a couple of people passing through. Hi. Cool, dang it to hell! You bagged a freaking Concord Deathclaw! This is unfreaking believable Everyone from DC to Miami knows of this piece, and you done killed it! I demand to know how in Adam's name did you pull this off? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I mainly just hid in the back straights and let a gang of raiders do the job, but who are you, good sir? I like you already! Sorry, who are you? Oh, daddy. This hunter beat you fair and square. There's no need to get all ornery about it. <laughs> and where are our manners? I'm dreadfully sorry. This here tired old hunter is my father, Elias Thompson. And I'm Ruby Thompson. We've kind of set up shop here in Concord. I'm not sorry! Having that damnable Death Claws head on my mantelpiece was going to be my crowning trophy! Daddy, I think we should invite them home so we can hear the story in more comfortable surrounds. <sighs> Alright, fine. Our house is the two-story on the outskirts of town near the old church. Still want to know how in Adam's name you managed it. We would love you to come and share a meal with us whenever you can. <laughs> no worries, no rush. Uh, stop by some evening when you're free. Good company is always appreciated. Come on, Dad. Uh, let's go and finish patching up the window, like you promised. Bye for now. Okay, they did say no rush, so let's start off with, yes, Jake, and your tragic backstory, which you're finally going to cocking tell me about. They ain't very nice. They're called gunners. So if you see any, make sure you stay far away from them, alright? Okay, now, I gotta go. But wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you again soon, sweetheart. Jake. Oh, hey, Slick. Uh, I didn't hear you come in. Turns out our radio connection between the hub and the ASAMs works just fine. I was just recording a message for someone. And yes, indeed, I heard, though. Robot to get out of the way. Me and Jake are having an emotional, tragic backstory conversation. So, uh, oh, go on, buddy. Tell me what's going on. Who's it for? Uh, yeah. Well, after the whole gunner thing, I just... Uh, well, it's kind of... Oh, this is awkward. I was sort of hoping to keep this private. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an interruption right now. Search complete. Huh? Oh, right. I asked the robot to find my screwdriver. <laughs> Good timing. Um, I don't mean to question your logic, Chip, but does that look like a screwdriver to you? Affirmative. You know what? You're right. Turns out this hammer is my screwdriver after all. Good work. Now, why don't you go patrol or something? Protect and serve. Uh, that bot ain't right. Tell you what, Slick. If you can find my screwdriver, I'll tell you who I was recording a message for. It's probably past time I told you anyway. Sound fair? Okay, now that sounds like a good deal. Because if you're working under the assumption I can't find your screwdriver, because it's a screwdriver, and like Boston's big or whatnot, little does he suspect I'm a Fallout protagonist. I could just magic quest markers out of thin air. I could find this thing cocking anywhere. Okay, apparently he like, you know, wants to tell me or something, because that was a suspiciously easy mission, Jake. Uh, here. Hey, you found it. Thanks. It was driving me nuts looking for this thing. Okay, you held up your side of the deal. I'll spill the beans on who I was recording that message for. Ready for a little history of Jake? Oh, go on then. Let's get some tragic backstory. Tell me the whole story. All right. Full backstory it is. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. I come from a settlement called Sanford. You ever heard of it? It's a nice place. Providing you don't mind the odd cyclone or two. Where's that town? Oh, it's quite a long way from here. Way down in the southwestern parts of the Waste. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. One thing led to another and... Well, you know how it goes. You met someone and had a son, and I met someone and had a... Okay. A daughter. 
I'm guessing, because of my high perception. Do you have a daughter? Yeah, that's right. I had a little girl. I named her Laura. And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. <gasps> what the? Oh, that damn generator again! This is the fifth time it's stalled today! Okay, but that's not the only thing that's stalling. You're definitely stalling telling me your story, buddy. Okay, I will help, but I expect a full explanation as to where your wife and daughter are after we're done. Okay, we'll get down to the plutonium well in just a second because, uh, yes, he said two houses down from the church. So, uh, hang about. Is this going to be... Oh, yeah. Lands up by the door. Let's go and have a chat with the Thompsons because I want to tell them the daring adventurous story of how I completely didn't kill the Death Claw. Oh, they weren't kidding. They are literally sitting at the table waiting for me to join them for dinner, though... Hilariously, yes, if I was to take the soup that they've offered to me, they would start shooting me. Right, sit down you before we start tomorrow. eating. Right, let's have a lovely chat, buddy, and- Ooh, I think the Jake team proper the glowing the death claw over there. The okay, they're not wanting to speak to me at the moment, but there is a note on, yeah, the site here. So, the statesman, young death claw in Concord, now deceased. So, yep, that was me. But there is also the Matron, Giant Milet Queen nearby to Salem. I think I know which one that refers to. I'm guessing that, yes, this is going to be a kill list. So, the boss, a behemoth in East Boston. So, okay. I can't recall which behemoth that might be. Snow Yeti, not sure about that one. Dragons, Scorch Beast Queen, cute reference to 76. Now, Alpha Death Claw in the Glowing Sea, that's entirely possible, and uh, yes, a Wendigo, once again, that's from Fallout 76, not President Fallout 4, lovely. Okay, still nothing, I just went to check the, uh, yes, yeah, Sim Settlement 2 wiki. Apparently when she said join us for dinner, she was serious, okay? Joining them for lunch, that was not what was offered, that would be bloody rude, so we'll pop back in later. Right, in which case, Jake's still got his business to take care of, and nearest way to get into the underground is, yes, this lovely little access panel right here. Oh yeah, there's still something alive down here, so, okay, bare minimum. I'm pretty sure we opened up a shortcut on the left over here, so uh, straight into uh, the final room, and... Okay, I think I see the problem, we've got a roach infestation. And looks to me like, yes, you took care of the rest. Any chance of uh, no legendary Dero flipping deer? Right. Scrounger, pair with parts laying around, or Idio Savon, just put something sticky on it. No, no, no. Adhesive is like valuable. Scrounger, that's the way to go. And that should uh, get her working straight away. Beautiful. That's also not legendary. Dero flipping deer. Right. Push the big red button. Again, and okay. Now, how's Jake gonna get out of you know telling me the tragic backstory this time? Ah, I got the generator humming again. I see. Thanks. It's no fun trying to work in the dark. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, right. So years pass, and Laura grows up. However, me and her mom, Caitlin, we ended up drifting apart and separating. But I'd still see Laura all the time, though. And when she'd stay with her mom, we'd keep in touch with the radio. So, one day, I broadcasted our usual radio time to say goodnight. But there's no response. Now, you gotta understand. Laura's the most punctual kid you'd ever meet. She was never late for anything. Naturally, I begin to panic a little. Worrying if something bad might have happened to her. So I rush over to Caitlin's house and... Do you need a minute to gather your thoughts? Sorry. I was just... remembering. You see, when, when I got there, I found... Okay, now this is just getting cooking ridiculous with the interruptions. Oh, blimey, there's a lot of, um, a lot of rad roaches, including a legendary and... No, no vats. That's focus on, yes, those guys, uh, and you, and you, marvellous, dead, 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 
dead. There might be one more there as well. Lovely. And that was 95% chance to it. Also, could someone else please assist with this? Oh, you know what? That's actually staggering. That's not bad, you know. Right, we're taking that with us. That could be okay. Still, we'll get back to that later. Jake, you are not getting away with this, all right? No more cocking interruptions, though. Okay, I can't deny. I quite like the humor of a tragic backstory being constantly interrupted because, well, blatantly Jake doesn't want to tell me anyway. But he's going to, all right? I'm going to fix all your problems as long as you tell me the tragic backstory afterwards. So, I arrive at Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. I opened the door and there was no one there. What do you mean? What happened? At first I thought someone must have broken into the place. I've dug to Caitlin and my kid. The more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. I ran to Laura's room. All her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left. Okay. That's a bit mysterious. Why? What did you do? The only thing I could do. Well, there's no way in hell I was going to let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. I dashed back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. Okay. This isn't a kidnapping. We've got a mystery here. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. You'd know that better than most. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it had made its final stop. Here, in the Commonwealth. Caitlin and Laura had already departed, but I knew where they were now. Since then, I've put out a radio message every night, hoping Laura might hear it. Know that her dad is out here looking for her. After our little run-in with the Gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from him. I know she probably won't hear it, but... But still, I had to try. Okay, your wife and daughter, maybe together, maybe not, were at some point here in the Commonwealth. So, uh, right, we'll be tracking them down at some point, I'm guessing. You only wanted to keep her safe. Yeah. I just hope wherever she is, she hears my warning. I've not really spoken to anyone about Laura since I got here. <laughs> Unless you count the Ron. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feels good to file a share. Get everything off my chest. Warning. You are trespassing. You must leave immediately. Oh, what is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated death claws? Well, well, what's all this about death claws? Oh, old Paul! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Okay, so apparently something's going on. Last time you showed up here, it was, yes, raiders, uh, hostages, etc., etc., so... Uh, I'm guessing the fact Paul is here is not good news. Is something up? Well, cheese and crackers. You must be the ones with the ASM sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can ASAMs really help build up settlements? Well, sure. As long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with- Gee, a scrap heap. Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 assums, please. Uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. What makes you say that? Hey, don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? If you're concerned about giving censors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. But what do you think, Slick? What's the right thing to do? Okay, give me the details. Like, tell me about your society, your friends. How well could you defend yourselves uh, if it came to it? I want to hear the details first. Oh, sure thing. See, 
Me and a whole bunch of others, we had to flee our old home. And the place we've taken up ain't all that great. We could really use some help, so we'd be happy to join you. Okay, I'm going to help, but I'm going to keep an eye on them too. That's the compromise. Don't worry, I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Oh, jeez, thanks. I still think we may be asking for trouble, but I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you really don't know what this means to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your pit boy. I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Here, Slick, take these. A few extra ASAMs, in case you need them. Let's get these folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? I'm going to get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. All right, so by the sounds of it, we're going to have a brand new settlement as needs to be, you know, investigated at some point or another. Which also completes memory lane. A beautiful it bring us to, presumably, the next mission straight away. Who can? A Sam and Odia. I'm guessing from that picture, yes, a lot of people are going to have uh, opinions when we show up there. There might be, you know, a local trouble to sort out. So let's not worry about them for now. Because number one, we've got an invitation to spend dinner with the new residents. And now it's actually evening. I did see the alert come up. I could go and hang out with them. So, okay, this I'm looking forward to. Because I suspect you're about to challenge me to track down, you know, the ultimate killing machines dotted around the wasteland. Though, I did realize something as well. This is going to be hilarious. An alpha death claw right on the edge of the glowing sea. That's going to be the one in the robot park. I've killed that one too. Oh, he's going to be furious. Oh, hello. We are so glad you could make the time to come and see us. Dad, look who's come to visit. Oh, right. It's the hunter who stole my trophy. Hunting has been my life for so many years that I get a bit honorary when someone comes between me and my prey. Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? I've been hunting ever since I could hold a rifle. And up until recently, I've never had a problem bagging my kills. But lately, nothing seems to go my way. And your death claw back there was the straw that broke this camel's back. Ruby and I have been traveling these parts to find somewhere safe to build a home again after our last one was destroyed. <sighs> Super mutants found our settlement and attacked one night. Daddy killed four of them before we were overwhelmed and we had to get the hell out of there. They destroyed everything. Oh, don't cry, sweetheart. You know what kills me. Uh, anyways, Concord seemed like a nice and easily defensible place now that those raiders have been cleared out. Daddy has heard about a few more trophy animals around these parts and has promised me he will retire after he has bagged them. Isn't that right, Daddy? That's right, darling. <laughs> well, it was real nice of you coming to visit, and we hope to be able to show you some impressive kills of our own soon. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our tale. We haven't had much in the way of friends for quite a while now. This is a welcome change of pace. A and feel free to stay as long as you'd like. There's extra iguana soup if you're still hungry. It's Dad's favorite. Okay, so a hunt for other trophy animals, and uh, I suspect I've already bagged one of them, but can actually... I can now take the soup. Brilliant. Okay, alternatively, it could be a different one, because, yes, I can't speak to him, so... Okay, if I wanted to go and kill something, I think I know, yeah, which ones might be the easiest to track down. So, a police station in East Boston, then go towards a cherry bomb billboard. That's, you know, a pretty damn specific instructions, though uh, that one might have been added by the mod. I don't remember a behemoth in that bit of the world. Okay, I feel like that's going to yes. become a priority for me, like, in the very near future, but for the time being... Right, I can't deny, breeding Super Brahmin does appeal to me too. Branigan, we're moving straight on to your business. Okay, step one's not too complicated. We've got something he wants up here by robotics disposal. 
and one of the feed bags we need uh, by wicked shipping. Fine, both of them are already cleared. Should just be able to mosey straight up there, no trouble. Oh, I'll say that. Something's going on in the old, uh, yeah, robot junkyard. Oh, my friend the sentry bot's still here. Okay, well, that's good news, bare minimum. Whatever's going on, you can deal with that. Okay, you're dead, and oh dear. Right. Raider breeder letter, not actually the giant food thingy itself. Well, maybe anyway. Hey, BA, you're right, the place is perfect. The raiders here in the Commonwealth and need some canine companions. Okay, so you were doing a breeding program too, just for dogs and not for Brahman. Okay, next up round the corner, Wicked Shipping is clear as well. That's where we met Franklin back in the day. Fascinatingly though, yes, as I just mosey my way over there, it's going to be the corn and the razor grain that are way hard to find. Like, those are not the most common crops. Like, you know, say, potatoes, you will find cooking everywhere. That's not an issue, but, um... Yeah, corn. That's not so bad. Razor grain, that one could really be a problem. But I do have a plan, actually. I think I know how we can make this all work. Number one, back to wicked shipping. You're back in your container for some reason. I definitely let you out, but whatever. So, okay, just crack open at the side route. You're definitely... I thought everyone was dead, but then I definitely just heard something, so... Alright, just... Everybody stay dead, please. Stay nice and... Oh! Okay, one rad roach. Not two... More cocking rad roaches. Please just take out the... Please stop being eaten by rad roaches. Also, uh, cunning... I tell you what, that's not bad. I mean, the damage resistance is terrible, but agility and perception are lovely. Okay, that's competing with, uh, yes, not legendary, but shadowed. That's a worthwhile trade. I'll take that trade. You can just go, actually. Sorry. Right, so there's a bag of a Brahmin feed. Lovely, though. Never mind, there's three bags of Brahmin feeds. There were definitely more locations on the map. Possibly, yes, those ones were optional alternatives. So, okay. We've got, yes, the feeding McJibble. We've got ourselves the food McJibble. But we still need, yes, the extra ingredients to give our Brahmin a bit of a kick. Well, you know what? There's no point in having vertebrate signal grenades if I'm not going to use them occasionally. So, this here is a good flat area we can call a vertebrate in. I was kind of thinking more like there than over there, but whatever. Buddy, take me over to Oberland Station. Also, how long have I had insomnia? I do not remember getting insomnia, but apparently I've got insomnia. Here we go, good old Oberland Station, currently featuring, yes, one farmer, one guards person, and one newcomer who doesn't do anything at all. So, uh, how about we fix that right now? And you, buddy are now going to be part of my caravan network. Should come together nice and easy. I could just harvest a ton of wood, and then you can use that wood to build the new outpost. Marvellous. And there we go. We have successfully constructed a Brahmin. And somehow we're running at, like, minus 22 supplies. I'm not sure how we're doing that, but we're doing that. And... Okay, I'm kind of hoping in just a second you guys realise uh, you're now like, you know, uh, part of uh, the network because... There we go, caravan network. Okay, we're in the caravan network. Or rather like we've got a caravan network. If we were in the network, presumably we should have access to like thousands of supplies, so... I mean, hopefully we're in the network. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure whether it was, yes, needing power or whether it just needed me to wait until morning upstairs, but we're in the network. Okay, next up, corn, because I know where to... Oh, just a wild mongrel. No trouble. Just take you out, buddy. I know where I can get some corn just around the corner. Here we go, Grey Garden. You guys grow corn. Right, just help myself to some of that. Lovely. There we go. Step one, perfection. 
As for sugar bombs, just up the road, I know where I can get some of them. Here we go, Diamond City, because I know for a fact that yes, one of the residents here has got a bit of a problem. Here we go, Shang, you buddy, you are obsessed with sugar bombs, so just get hidden. Grab some of that, grab some of that Mark II, there we go. So okay, now it's just the razor grain and... Uh, I mean, if I'm lucky, I might be able to buy it right here in Diamond City. They don't grow it, unfortunately. Also, uh, sorry, there were more sugar bombs right here. It was mean of me to steal yours. Okay, one here with Mina. Sadly, no more, though. So, all right, we'll have to do the slightly harder option. But to bare minimum, uh, I do need to buy some ammo. Ammo is getting dangerously low. Okay, mosey on out of town here because, yes, there's one location I know I can get a giant pile of razor grain. Just retrace my steps back up to Jamaica Plain. We've already been this way, so I know it's pretty safe going in this direction. Okay, a handful of ghouls are floating around. Nothing too dramatic, nothing we can't deal with. But, yes, this was not our destination. What we're really looking for... There we go. That lion statue gives it away. University Point should be just over here. That's probably the outer defences uh, right there. And University Point is one of uh, very few locations uh, that have made razor grain their primary crop. The corresponding issue being, obviously, you know, it's not just a farm, though. Okay, by any chance, is that the Brotherhood? coming in to assist right now because that would be great if you guys would like to land over here because yeah we've definitely got no he's fighting raiders that's not synth guns but hang on well some people have been a bit uh oh that was not a kill and that wasn't a kill either okay um it turns out some of these guys are a bit on the tough side just Hold still for one second. Thank you very, very much indeed. Right, just be careful. Some of the high-level ones, they are not nothing. Okay, I would expect to see, you know, some sense inside these side buildings. But right now I'm not, so just... Careful. Careful. In, in, in. There we go. We've got everything this guy needs. And now... We just go. Just a mosey on out, get somewhere safe, and get back to Concord. Job done. Here you go. Hot damn. Now that's a hard worker. You see this, Bobby? They got the job done and never once complained about nothing like workers' rights or living wages. Well, that looks like it's about everything we needed. I well, thank you kindly for your hard work. Here's a little compensation for it. It'll take me a while to get everything set up, so why don't you swing by later for our grand opening deal? Buy two Brahmin for the price of three. Okay, so we've got ourselves Super Brahmin, and uh, he did suggest I might want to come back later, so... Uh, okay, now that. That's I'm looking forward to. Also, uh, you did mention to me, buddy, you know, hundreds and or thousands of caps. Can't open notes I've not been given hundreds or thousands of caps. Okay, we're going to come back later, but I'm increasingly suspicious of Brownigan. But okay, I would say having just engineered a Super Brahmin, how about we call it a part there? Because, uh, yes, I think I know precisely where we're going to be going next time. After all, we have just been given a list of uh, giant monstrosities uh, that need to be taken down. One of which is nearby to, uh, yes, a police station in East Boston, which I think might refer to the one just up the road from, yes, the uh, Boston airport. I swear there's a police station round about here, so uh, that could refer to that. And on top of that, that's barely down the road uh, from, you know, uh, Crater House, Museum of Witchcraft, etc, etc. So, uh, right, next time we're going monster hunting on the east coast of Boston. So hopefully you join me next week for that. But in the meantime... I've been John, this has been many a true nerds, and this has been Fallout 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away, go away, nobody likes you.
that was a good idea till it wasn't.